All right, so I've created uh, two little vessels for both of my printed circuit board designs, and it's been 15 minutes for my PDMS to gas. So let's check it out. You can see PDMS has been completely degassed, and there are no air bubbles in there. Um, I'd like to credit this ingenious little step in this process to Ron Reiser of the Science Geyser. Alright, so next um, I'm going to pour my PDMS onto my designs. Since this design is slightly larger than this guy here, um, I'm going to pour a little bit more onto the larger design. And when I'm pouring it, I want the, um, the tip of the cup to be as close to the PCB as possible in order to prevent air bubbles forming as the PDMS drips onto the PCB. So the um, rim of my cup is actually touching my PCB at the moment. And you don't need to pour so much that it completely covers the design because as it sits in the oven, the um, PDMS will spread out all over the design. You want to use every last drip of your PDMS now because this stuff is kind of expensive. Definitely make sure you cover your entire design, but don't worry about covering your entire print and circuit board. You can spread it around a little bit by tilting it. Another important thing is to make sure that the surface of your PCB is completely devoid of any impurities or any crud that uh, could be on the surface. And if there is, just uh, wipe that off. Make sure it's not there. So I've poured my PDMS onto my two designs. I have my oven here preheated to... 120 degrees Celsius approximately, or 250 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And so I'm going to throw in my PCB for 10 minutes. Now there have been occurrences where um, some bubbles have reformed while in the, uh, in the oven, but um, those have only happened... Uh, very rarely and so after 10 minutes we'll pull our PCBs out of there and our PDMS should be completely cured and completely clear as well which will allow for us to cut it off of the printed circuit board and adhere it to a microscope slide.